On the midterm exam, we will be using a normal graph. Normal graphs have multiple graphs in one. That's what normal means. And we're only going to use this at the end to figure out what our molecule is, but we don't know what boiling points we're looking up yet. But we know that this thing has a boiling point at this abnormal pressure. How do we know that's an abnormal pressure and not normal? The number's not 760 tor. So three tor is an abnormal pressure that's right here. It connects to the abnormal boiling point, 103. This is normal. Do not connect to 103 here. Connect to 103 here, which is a little below the 105 line. Is my ruler long enough? Oh, yes, it is. Thank goodness. Do it as accurately as you can. <laughs> my, my finger. That was funny. Uh, recovery. Right, right over my finger. Uh, this is A. Normal BP, it's a little below the 260. This is 250 right here. It's a hair below 260. BP 258. Did you get something like that? Good job. I will accept 255, but that's about as low as I'll go. I like it. And then that's the answer to part A, two points. I'll try that. That's a pretty easy two points. What is the boiling point at 60? Another abnormal boiling point. Find the 60 right here. Does it go, does it intersect here or does it intersect there? If you intersect down here, you're gonna tell me this, this molecule has two different normal boiling points. This does not happen in this universe. A molecule has one normal boiling point. Everything must go through this point, everything. This is not even the last thing, trust me. So make sure it goes from 60 through that intersection there. Keep your fingers off the top of your ruler. And your new, what is the boiling point at 60? Uh, that's 200, 190, 180, 170, a little above the halfway, 166. Did you get something similar? Plus or minus three, I'll take there. You get within three of that. You're definitely on track. Now, the, we're going to intersect there a third time because I'm confessing I picked a molecule that's in this book, but they didn't report a normal boiling point either. They report a third abnormal boiling point, and you got to make sure it intersects that to verify it's the right molecule. So we're going to C7H7CLS. I hope there's not a whole lot of them. C oh page what? She found the molecule. Time well spent away. C C7H7CLS. It's right here. C7H7CLS. Right there. So it's one of these molecules here, okay? So we're gonna start looking. So everybody, uh, I want you looking up from page 2812. 
and I'm going to pause the video. No, I can't pause the video. I don't know how. You guys might know how. Stop video. I think that that'll keep the recording going without video. It's, it's not going to work for us. So longer segment. Um, I'm going to start at the bottom of the list. Uh, I'm going to go for chlorothioanisole. Page 768, 4-chlorothioanisole, 768, 168. Uh, she found it too. Uh, yeah, no boiling point. It's not the right molecule if you don't have a boiling point. No boiling point at all. It can't be the right molecule. So the one right above it is the same molecule? Yep. Yeah. Two. Oh, boiling point of 239 is not right either for the one right above it because the normal boiling point is 258. And I should have bookmarked my page with the formulas in it. I didn't. 2812, thank you. You wrote them all down. Oh, we're going backwards from the end. So what's the next one up? The third, the third last one. Seven thirty-three. And what's the name? That's a good one, huh? Uh, two chlorothioanisole. Seven thirty-three. Uh, chloromethylphenyl sulfide. Chloromethylphenyl sulfide. Chloromethylphenyl. Seven thirty-two or seven thirty-three? Oh, I'm on the wrong page. No wonder I can't find. Chloral methyl phenyl sulfide boiling point uh, sixty-six at point two. Sixty-six degrees Celsius at zero point two millimeters Hg. Possibility. 0 0.2 up here goes to 66 down here, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 66. This looks promising. I lost my ruler. Oh, my ruler's a bookmark now. Oh, oh boy. And my ruler's not big enough. Note to self, bring a full length ruler. I'm borrowing Susan's ruler right now. Uh, before the midterm, bring, bring a full length ruler because clearly the little ruler didn't get us there. Dollar store people. Did it go through the right point? Yeah. Yes, we have a winner. Uh, I'm gonna write down the name of the molecule. Uh, I forgot where it is. Seven three three. Chloral methyl phenyl sulfide. That's the data. That's the proof. The the proof's right there. It's the only one that went through this point. And I I believe on the test. I don't like surprises on the test. I also want a picture of chloral methyl phenyl sulfide. Structure. Susan had a question first. Okay. And on in the book it says. Chloral methyl phenyl sulfide. Here's the short form, which I won't give you points for. Book says this C6H5, which I expect everybody to be able to draw. SCH2Cl. And I want you to draw this a phenyl attached to a sulfur. Attached to a CH2, attached to a C6, 
CL. There you go. This directly to this. No surprises. You were asked for this picture on Tuesday. Okay. So let's get it on the screen so we see everything. You might not see everything, but the video does. You do. Well, top's cut off. Exact same steps Tuesday. This was a lab question already. They made you use this normal graph in experiment one, I believe. But I expect a lot of us got it wrong because I've had some, even the, some of the really good students have asked me, how do I do this? And there's no real good explanations out there. But there is now, right here. And that's that.